Was Bruce Lee a legendary fighter? Unfortunately, due to his lack of ring experience, that is a question we will never know. But he is certainly a legendary martial artist and a combat philosopher second to none. You see, many of Bruce Lee's ideas are tested throughout history, which is not something many martial artists can say in any era. But this is particularly true for action film actors during his time. With a passion unrivaled by any before and after him, Bruce Lee took martial arts to a new height through cinema. And that, my friends, is only possible if he also had substance. Fight fans, welcome back to another episode of Lawrence Kenshin Striking Breakdowns. In this episode, we explore how Bruce Lee's mind for fighting was legendary. Be water, my friend. There are way too many moments of wisdom from Bruce Lee, so we will have to go with the most time-tested and proven ones here. My personal favourite was from this prolific scene. That's it. How did it feel to you? Let me think. Don't think. Feel. It is like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. This philosophy is well tested by scientists today. Every elite martial artist moves through the four stages of learning, from unconscious incompetence into unconscious competence. To do that, a student needs to learn what they are incompetent in and then become consciously competent in that skill. But truly great fighters aren't unconsciously competent. That is, they rarely need to think about what they need to do, they just do it. The funny thing is that they also rarely know how to teach exactly what they are doing. This is particularly the case for prolific fighters who have never been a high level coach. Your thoughts are wrong. But they're trying to learn how to fight, not how to think. From the all time great fighters like Sanchai, Two magicians like Lerzilla, they often say that they don't remember how they do what they do. They just simply do it. However, it's after sitting down, reviewing footage and coaching prospects that they learn how to teach it. And that's why frequently the greatest fighters do not make the greatest coach or even a good coach. The lesson of unconscious competence is what Bruce Lee is trying to say in this powerful scene. He was saying that if a fighter is thinking during a fight, it's too late to react. A great fighter must intuitively know exactly what to do at all times. And to do that, he must already know and feel what is right rather than to think before he acts. Only by having an automatic response from an empty mind will the fighter know exactly what to do right away. So empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. As Maverick would say, don't think, just do. You already know everything, believe in yourself. Performing a skill must become automatic at the highest level. So automatic that the correct response must occur in split seconds. Only then is there true mastery. The faster a fighter is able to perform an automatic skill, the higher level they become. This is the essence of great technicians like Sanchai and Lerzilla people who are true grandmasters in the art of fighting. The second greatest philosophy comes from Bruce Lee's prolific flow like water comment. If you try to remember, you will lose. Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. Put it into a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow, or creep, or drip, or crash. Be water, my friend. In essence, Bruce is saying that a great fighter must be in flow. He must be able to adapt, knowing exactly when to be loose and when to be solid. This is so well proven in so many fields. But yet many people today still get it wrong. 
For example, in Olympic lifting, the novice fighter will run out of energy fast. If the novice fighter is stiff throughout his entire strike, the strike will fail to produce efficiency and it definitely won't produce optimal power. This is why when you train in Thailand, one of the most common comments you will get as a beginner is relax relax, sabai sabai. Novice fighters simply are not adaptable. They do not know when to flow like water and when to crash. You can see it each time Sanchai and Lodzilla fights. For example, Sanchai is evasive when he needs to be and powerful when he wants to be. The same goes with Lodzilla, who can bend in every direction like Neo in the Matrix and then explode into a knockout when required. To them, you see, the idea is running water never grows stale. So you gotta just keep on flowing. And this applies in sparring as well. Far too many novice fighters stay stiff and stationary when they spar. Unlike elite strikers, they do not have strike continuity. They do not flow because they are not focused on being like water. And instead, they act like a rock. To your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. And this right here explains why Bruce Lee is widely regarded as the founding father of MMA. The elite MMA fighter takes from all that is useful and disregards what is useless. By knowing exactly what works and taking the best of each style, the highest level of unconscious competence can be reached in fighting. That is also what Ludzilla has done. He took the very best of Muay Thai, boxing, and Taekwondo in order to build his own unique style. You do not have styles. If you just say, well, here, here I am, you know, as, as a human being, how can I express myself totally and completely? My other favorites from Bruce Lee include how martial arts is a great tool for personal development. To me, okay, to me, ultimately, martial art means honestly expressing yourself. Now, it is very difficult to do. In live sparring and in fights, everything is as close to reality and honesty as possible. Combined with the resilience required for growth as a martial artist, these virtues are highly transferable to the daily life. This is why some of the best and most interesting human beings are martial artists. Because in one arena of their life, they've had to consistently confront the truth. And oftentimes, the truth is that as human beings, we are all inadequate. The truth is that we need to constantly experience failure over and over again in order to grow and become better. But this process is also why being a martial artist can bring peace. A student once asked Bruce Lee, you teach me fighting, but you talk about peace. How do you reconcile the two? Bruce Lee replied, it's better to be a warrior in a garden than to be a gardener in a war. This is so beautifully put because the one who chooses peace despite the capability to fight is a warrior who is truly at peace. The warrior can defend himself and the people he loves when needed and rest when he wants. That is the freedom martial artists train so hard for. And that is the spirit of a true warrior. Thank you legend for giving us all the great ageless wisdom. If you enjoyed this episode, please do support us by watching another one. I'm Lawrence Kenshin and thank you for keeping our channel alive.